Today we're going to be talking about the Ionway V2s and are they still worth it? Now they've dropped in price from 440 to 390. Now, and also we also have the Fat Shark HD Core now, which was the HD3 basically, and that's around 350 bucks, but you don't have a receiver and you don't have a battery. But this one, you don't have a battery as well, but you do have receivers built in. So let's talk about the IOMA here. So it does support head tracking units. So there's two versions. There's the Pro and the Regular. The Regular means this module bay is going to be empty, and this is where the head tracker module would be in. That's the only difference here. Now this does not, they, they don't provide you with any sort of battery or anything, but they do give you this little balancing uh, charging cable thing. So you can plug in like a 5S, a 4S, and a 3S, I think, or a 2, 3, and a 4S, I think. I don't know, but yeah, you can plug those, the balance part of those in here, and then it'll, it'll get you going. So that's really nice, and they also provide you with an antenna and a patch antenna. So cloverleaf and a patch antenna, 8 dBi, and I don't know how many dBi this is, but it's a good antenna. So it's really decent. I was using, that's all I was, I was using the default stuff. So out of the box, you're going to be set to go, ready to go. And you're going to have to just provide your own battery here and then use the connector here. Uh, it'll kind of misalign the balance of your batteries, but it's, you know, something you have to do unless you get yourself like a fast shock battery or something. There's plenty of them out there right now. So it's 380 bucks. And it has the same exact features as the Fat Shark and as well as the EV 200s, except one thing that the the internal receivers you you cannot replace. You're just stuck with the default ones that are built in, and I believe they are RX 5808s. So it's it's almost identical to every single uh, module, almost to every single module in the market. For example, these I think they do use the RX 5808. However, with these you get more functionality. You have little awesome cool things added here and there, and it's just more upgradable, if you might say. Uh, um, and you could put, you know, 1.3 gigahertz. You can put 2.4 gigahertz modules. Here you're stuck with 5.8 gigahertz. All right, so 380 bucks, not the pro version. And there's a Fat Shark HD Core, I think. The Fat Shark, yeah, HD Core, uh, not the HDO. The Core is 350 bucks. So that's what, $40, $390, $40, dollars difference. Now, would I recommend this over that? No, I would not. Because I do have the HD3s and they're, all, they're exactly like the HD cores. I would def I would just recommend you get the core instead. Why? Quality is better. The face fit is better. Now, the face fit is subjective to many people's faces. So my, for my face, the, the, I always never fit great. I always had issue with the nose part. Uh, for Fat Sharks, perfect fit every single time. Now, I've, I've asked, I think, that five different people to just try them on, tell me which one was more comfortable. Usually, it was the Fat Sharks as well as the EV200s, more than the Ionway V1s and the V2s. And again, these are the V2s here. I would definitely go with the core. However, I'm not saying this is a bad goggle, but from my experience and the face fit and the quality and just about everything, I would definitely go with the core, but that's my opinion. Plus, it gives you more flexibility to bring in your own, you know, Fat Shark modules. Uh, you could put 1.3 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz. You don't know what the next trend is. Some crazy ass 800 megahertz or something that gives you a trillion light years. You know, you can fly to the moon and back and still have video feed. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but, you know, that's something really nice to have. It's basically future proof in a way. Now, the internal quality of the Oyomois is decent, but I, 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 don't, I wouldn't say it's, it's, it's really good. Uh, I've had a lot of problems with Ionway V1s, which I've had to fix quite often. And now I just gave up on them. It's just sitting in parts. So if anyone wants to buy that piece of shit off of me, just email me. Um, this one is good. It's great so far. There's no longevity use. I haven't used it enough. I've used it for about a month. But obviously, many of you have. It's a matured product in the market. So leave your comments down below on how your experience is going. And I'm pretty sure it's still strong because we haven't heard much bad things about it. Now, let's jump just one ladder up, which is the HDOs. Now, the HDOs are about 120 bucks more expensive than the Ionway V2s. Is it really worth that extra 120 bucks? Yes, it's worth, in my opinion, it's worth more than 120 bucks. Um, if this was 550, it's still worth it. Uh, because the quality, the image quality, the field of view might be smaller but it changes your whole perspective of flying. You, if you ever use these, you're gonna be like, "How the hell was I flying with anything else?" You get better contrast, better colors. You get just you can see everything basically. Uh, here, it's kind of like you're partially blind. 
not yeah partially blind or you have some blurriness which you can't see everything here you have not clarity yet we don't have that just yet but you're not partially blind you're just um it's just a little bit foggy kind of not uh, yeah maybe yeah, a little bit foggy and this is partially blind in my opinion Be especially with ghost branches and stuff this is how i was really comparing it uh, i'm not saying you can't you could totally use the ionway v2s but again hdo's core in my opinion is a better uh, purchase decision plus these retain these hold their value so if you ever wanted to resell this you can actually easily resell this a lot easier than Ioma v v2 in my opinion you can resell it I mean if, you, if I put this for a hundred dollars right now you guys would buy it definitely if I put this for 200 bucks 300 bucks 400, 400 bucks right now you guys are more likely to buy this one than if I were to put this one for three hundred dollars am I right definitely so they see where i'm going with this the fat sharks will retain their value i always won't but you can still sell them but these would be so much easier to sell if you ever needed to you're low on cash and you also have the flexibility of the future i mean current the current layout between the uh fat shark core and the fat shark hd3s is basically future proof there isn't much improvements they can do on there so if you get those you're pretty much set for a couple years possibly maybe two three years and it'll still retain its value and that's what's really nice about fat shark i own my v2s might disappear after a while and you're not going to find any 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 um uh, any parts for it if something goes bad this is just theoretical i'm not saying it's a bad goggle and again i'm just saying my opinion and what i think and what i have been using now this is again it's a all about personal preference maybe these you cannot see anything clearly but this you can but it's really rare that someone can't really see in a fat shark in my opinion unless it has some kind of a defect uh because you know a lot of people that i give it to can see absolutely perfect so yeah Overall, is this a good goggle? Yes, the Ionways is a great goggle. Is a Fat Shark good goggle? It's the best goggle on the market, hands down. No, no doubt. I mean, anyone would tell you if you use them yourself, you compare two of them next to each other, you could actually see that. Uh, especially at the, you know, just when you know your equipment and you just constantly use it, you, you know the difference. You could totally see the difference, and it does make a huge difference in the way you fly, the way you see, and just about everything. So, well. I guess I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I'll let you guys go with the DVR footage. I'll have a link to everything down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.